Hi folks, it is I, Richie Vida, and this is a thank you video. Join me after the intro. Let's go. on this positively average middle of the road two-wheeled delight that is the Triumph Rocket 3R Black. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you folks. This is a thank you to you all for the Wild Lad weekend. We finally did it. It came, it went, it's gone. And look at the Look, hang on a minute, hang on a friggin' minute, just one second here. Why is it? This is only a couple of days later. Why is it? Any time you lot come to town, the weather turns to crap. Look! Why couldn't it have been like this on our massive convoy ride on the Friday? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Joking aside, you know, it tipped it down. It tipped it down. You all did absolutely amazing, considering we had, you know, riders of all abilities and experience. You all did incredible. Running the drop-off system over 200 bikes, approx, and no one, not one person, let that drop-off system down. Not one. And have you any idea how long a marker has to wait on a 200 approximate bike train between 20 and 30 minutes at every junction so you lot are amazing absolutely amazing so thank you so much it worked a treat start to finish all those miles we did about 100 110 miles I think I tweaked it on the fly because of the crappy weather, knocked about 40 mile off the route on the morning route and then decided to avert the group. I did have a, a water crossing plan for everybody but because it had so so much torrential rain I just thought it's dangerous. It would have been fine for all riders had it been like this but I decided to uh, go around it little did I know that around the corner <laughs> there were going to be masses of floods anyway which were probably deeper than the actual water crossing itself but yeah I'm out on this Rocket 3 Triumph very 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 kindly gave me this special edition to lead the famous train of the Wild Weekender and Suzuki very kindly gave me the brand new Hayabusa for Egon to tail end said train I did absolutely nothing yesterday, nothing, apart from empty my van. Took us all day to dismantle the site on a Sunday. I was absolutely shattered, shattered, got nothing, no fuel left in my tank whatsoever. I had a, such an adrenaline dump on um, Sunday night. I've slept solid for two nights. And, and like seven o'clock, eight o'clock in bed. I tell you something, <laughs> this bike was a handful in solid driving rain. Firmly in rain mode, yeah, twitching at every corner. Because these, trust me when I say there is such an unbelievable amount of juice going through the arse end. The weekend was incredible. There's no other word for it full of lovely lovely people amazing service from our bar staff amazing service from our chef from our butcher the food were incredible and a lot of beer was drunk we had games we had product giveaways we raised money for the blood bikes the actual blood bike from Ricky's last ride came to site to see everybody how cool is that we raised over six and a half thousand quid for the blood bikes. Six and a half thousand quid. 
I want to say massive congratulations, massive congratulations to Max, who won the official Ricky's Last Ride Wildbad VFR. Not even passed his full test yet. That's the kind of person I wanted it to go to. I'm so chuffed for you, Max. Well done, well done. And well done to every single other person that put money in to raise money for the blood bikes for this raffle. Some people were buying 20 tickets to get in with a chance of, of, of winning this bike. And sadly, only one person can win it. But that means all the money you're putting in is going straight to the blood bikes. And the blood bike in question that came to see is Ricky's Last Ride bike. That's already done nearly 8,000 miles. That's 8,000 miles of service that wouldn't have happened if it weren't for you lot. Really wouldn't have happened, would it? Wouldn't have existed. I wasn't this like this on Friday. We all arrived at camp with it chucking it down. Everyone had to set the tents up with it tipping it down. But you know, that night we had so much fun. The marquee was bouncing. We had a great band escape plan. Did an amazing job for us. And the room was bouncing. It's so happy. People were so happy. We even had people coming up saying how, how happy they were and thank you for such an amazing weekend and almost emotional or even emotional at times, including myself. It's something that we all needed. And I tell you, it was one hell of a party. It was a. It, uh, I'm sure everyone will agree. I hope everyone will agree. It was such a beautiful weekend. It really, really was. Right, I've just picked up some of the morning part of the Wild Bad Weekender route. Some of you will remember it. I took everyone on a stunning 100 mile ride through the Peak District, the glorious Peak District, because the scenery is to die for. And guess what? Thick cloud and thick fog. Couldn't see a thing. <laughs> Could not see a thing. Have a look, it looks a little bit like this. Well, there's your water crossing. <laughs> <laughs> we did a slow race where someone won a brand new pack torque bold thank you very much to cardo for that much appreciated there's a lot of happy smiley faces tons of stuff from ultimate add-ons thank you very much ultimate add-ons for your continued support we had John and Daniel there from Supreme Coat. Thank you very much, guys. You lot were busy. And Pete from Super Shield and his team. I think there were a couple of bikes that were fully ceramic coated at the, at the do. And there were 40 odd visors coated, I think, probably more. It was very, very cool to see uh, Pete doing the actual ceramic coating on a bike as a demonstration for everyone to see. Image for security were there. They set up a nice big stall. It was nice for everyone to see the guardsman, you know, the security barrier that I have, in the flesh. Because I tell you, it, it changes opinions massively when people see how good it is in the flesh. So thank you, you guys, for coming. Custom Fit Guards, they were there all Friday night. That was quite funny, actually, because as we were all arriving, wet through, not really anyone were going to see him because people were still settling in and, you know, getting a drink and getting warm and getting dry and everything. Anyway, I think Terry had done about seven or eight ear impressions. And then he came over to me and he said, Rich, this was six o'clock. Rich, could you tell everyone that I'm leaving at half past six? Because I've got loads of work to do. Loads of work tomorrow as well. I've got to be up early. I said, yeah, mate, no worries. So I went, went on the stage, told everyone that Terry from Custom Fit Guards is leaving in half an hour, folks. So if you do want any impressions making, please go and see him before he goes. And then there were a massive queue of people went straight up to him. I think he was there for another two hours after that, taking impressions and taking orders. So thank you very much to Custom Fit Guards for that. But it was so nice to see everybody, you know, milling around and having a look at all these different vendors and what we're on offer. Fantastic. Oh, that's the whole point. It's the whole point of uh, bringing you all together and enjoying being together for the first time in God knows how long. <laughs> look at the... Look at it! Look at it! Bloody sun's up there, look! I don't know. It is, it's only when you lot come to town. It's fine when it's just me. When there's no sign of you lot, look! It's like this up here. As soon as you come to town, it goes like that. <laughs> Massive thank you to my sponsors for helping out for the weekend. B Moto Insurance. If your insurance is due, 
Corby Moto. Just tell them I sent you and I'm assured that you'll be looked after. Ultimate add-ons, thank you for your continued support. Been with you guys for such a long time. We're practically family. And Supreme Coat, the ceramic coating giants. Thank you very much for your support. I'm actually going to be going and seeing uh, Supreme Coat are having a new headquarters built. I'm going to be going and having a word with Darren, the CEO, and having a look at these new headquarters. And so many people were commenting this weekend on how well um, our bikes looked because we had them all in the marquee, all, all lined up, you know, and lit up as well. It's all for show business, you understand? Um, but we had them all lit up and um, they'd not been clean since we got them there. But everyone was saying, I can't believe how well they look and how. how glossy they look because again really essentially you've got a glass coat all the way around your bike i know it's not that but that's kind of what it is and what it looks like it really deepens the colors and makes everything so glossy it's it's it's, it's lovely i think tonight i'm going to treat myself to some fish and chips folks yeah honestly when we came up here friday you could not see a thing just the road in front of us, couldn't see a thing. There was one road in particular, in fact, I'm gonna take you on it. None of you could see this the other day. Look at the valley ahead of us over there. You couldn't even see it. And I tailored this route purely for the scenery and the, and the roads to get us off the beaten track. You know, you know me, I always like to take the road less traveled, completely off the beaten track to some of Derbyshire's finest scenery. You couldn't, you couldn't bloody see any of it. So uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. When we organize another Wild Bad Chippy run, I'll take you on the same route, or at least some of it. Typical though, isn't it? But anyway, you know, with the rain aside of the fr Friday, Saturday were great. It were great. We all had a real good party, a real good. We all let our air down Friday night. And Saturday, fantastic we had loads of breakfast from the butcher we were doing like the slow race we gave awards away all tongue-in-cheek of course but good fun by the time i went on stage with my band on saturday night i was shattered absolutely shattered you know obviously been talking all weekend and yeah by the time i went on stage i got no gas left in my tank at all like none i, I could barely i could barely bloody move let alone sing and, and uh, jump around a stage. Lovely to meet all those new people. I'll tell you something, I noticed, I noticed the difference from the 200 to the 300. I really noticed that difference. And uh, for that, I mean, I, I didn't realize how hard it was gonna be, but it's been hard work, very hard work all, all weekend. And um, yeah, because of that, I just realized it, it really is it's too much really so you know sadly that's gonna be i think the last one i don't think i'll do any i don't think we'll do anymore it was just it was just so hard so all those that were asking about you know next year I, I just, uh, at this moment in time i don't think there'll be one sadly but you know nothing lasts forever who am I kidding? Of course there's going to be one next year. In fact, tickets will be up for sale as soon as possible. I know we normally wait till like January or February to get this organised, but it is organised and it will be available for your purchase soon. <laughs> Who am I kidding? This is, this is, I love it. I love every second of it. It is hard work, but I love every single second of it. Meeting people, chatting to people. I love it. And I sincerely hope that you all enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm going to take you to one bit now where I was really hoping you were going to be able to see the scenery. And you couldn't see a thing. So very proud of uh, you lot and everything that the weekend has become. I couldn't make a video yesterday. One, I was too tired. And two, I couldn't speak. My voice is still a bit hoarse, but yeah, I couldn't even speak yesterday. But yeah, I definitely wanted to get out and do you this thank you video. Oh, now the weekend is complete. I can look forward to the first actual tour in a very, very long time. We're going back to Ireland a week on Friday. Friday the 13th, we're sailing into Dublin and doing, um, again, our own version of the Wild Atlantic Way. 
clockwise this time instead of anti-clockwise and uh, kind of making it up as we go just for the sake of going because we've all missed it so much look at what you could have seen on Friday had the weather been nicer You literally could not see a thing past this fence. Look at that. It was just thick. It was just completely thick. There she is. What an awesome machine that is. Rocket 3R Black. Special edition. Only a thousand in the world. I was saying all day when I was t telling people about it. Look at this. Black. It's lovely with this matte black and gloss black paint. Uh, I was telling people all day when they're asking about it. You know, there's only a thousand in the world in existence. And I hope it, you know, after the treacherous weather, I hope to, by the end of the day that statistic has not um, dropped by one. <laughs> But she hasn't. Look at that. Special bike. A special bike for sure. Still got the Wild Bad Weekender sticker on it. Screen sticker. I might try to turn around somewhere so I can come back down and show you. This is what you would have seen if we'd have rode down here in the clear. Right, it's time for tea. Just coming into Matlock Bath. I'm going to treat myself to some fish and chips. As I said, thank you very much everybody. To ticket holders, to contributors, everybody that's done anything to help us. We appreciate it massively. So thank you so much. The WW21 video will be coming soon enough, but for now just uh, know that it is a belter, the, the weekender was a belter, and we'll look forward to seeing what happens over the next year to make it even better still. Little stepping stones folks, little stepping stones. Right, it's tea time for me. Remember, be good, be careful and be kind thank you my friends thank you matlock bath everybody all right let's see if we can find a spot outside the chippy i don't think there's going to be much chance to be honest no chance is there a spot there yeah there is straight in Those, Board so control and your bigger bars. I'd rather have all the rest like that. Well, to be honest, 
I've, I've tested this one now and I've done the GT as well. Yeah. I prefer GT. Do you? Yeah, I do, yeah. This one's like you're over it a bit, but GTs, you're more, you know, you know, I can never get on with the Harley Davidson. My friend, brother's got a 